Hello guys. <clears throat> oh god. That's a way to start a video, huh? Um, excuse me. Um I just drank some Sprite, so I apologize. My Whew. Okay. Uh I think I'm cleansed now, so we should be good for the rest of the video, hopefully. Um, but uh here we go. Um today is a book mail video. So yeah, um I only got one book, but I'm gonna put another clip in later when I get the other book in the mail. I just feel like recording this now instead of waiting. So, so I only have one book to talk to you about currently. Um, and I also got a bookmark, so I'm gonna show that off. Um, so yeah, um, the first book we have, or the only book we have right now, is David Bernstein's Toxic Behemoth. Look at that cover. Just <laughs> take a second to appreciate that cover, man. So um, how I found out about this book is that um, Uptown Horror Reviews, I was looking at his Instagram, and um, well, I wasn't looking at his Instagram. It just popped up on my Instagram. But um, I saw that he posted uh, that he was reading Goblin or Goblins. I'm not really sure what it's called by David Bernstein. And it sounded like a really good book, but unfortunately it didn't have a paperback version. And... Um, so I was gonna buy the ebook, but I decided to check out his other stuff that he's released, and uh, I came across this gem. So, well, I'm considering it a gem because it sounds awesome. And uh, yeah, that uh, bookmark you see sticking out of it is the bookmark I got. It says R, rated R, restricted. Under 17 requires accompanying parent or adult guardian. Violence, grisly images, language, some nudity, and sexuality. Yeah, I thought this was such a cool bookmark. I had to get it. Um, and it's going to be uh, in this book. So let me put the bookmark down. So what is Toxic Behemoth by David Bernstein about? Let me read the synopsis for you. All right. So here we go. Toxic Behemoth. Let me put the cover in front of you guys. A creature born of flesh and toxic waste stalks the ocean depths devouring every living thing in its path as it grows to a colossal size. Weeks after its inception, the monster rises from the deep and attacks a cruise ship, alerting humanity of its, to its presence. The United States armed forces are called in to stop it, but with its human-like intellect, mammoth size, and organic alien-like weaponry, the toxic behemoth will prove the most formidable enemy humanity has ever seen. Yes. That sounds really cool. It sounds like a creature feature of, um, what do you call those things? Um, I don't know, but, um, um, is it, is it Kaiju? No, no, I'm trying to, well, you know what Godzilla is. Basically, I'm trying to say that this is of those type of proportions. So it's like Mothra, Godzilla. It's like in the same vein. Uh, but it sounds really cool. Um, this is... Uh, I'm actually not sure what the publisher is. I've seen that logo before, but it doesn't say the actual publisher's name. So let me give me a second. Um, the formatting is good. So that's good. Um, let me see here. Um, Severed Press. Yeah, I've heard of them before. This is a Severed Press book. This came out in 2014. That's actually... Um, I thought this came out sooner than that. That's pretty cool. Um, my copy is made in Illinois, obviously, because I live in Michigan. Kaiju. Kaiju is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Kaiju. Sorry, okay, there's a thing on the back of the book. Yeah, Kaiju. Um, this is like, like, like Kaiju proportions. So... Um, Um, this one comes in at 118. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. This one comes in at 118 pages. Um, so that's awesome. This is a very short, quick novella, and uh, I think I'm gonna get to it soon. I think it's a novella. Wait, hold on. It couldn't, it might not be a novella. Hold on. I think it said somewhere that it was a novel. Yeah, it's a novel. It's a very short novel at that, but yeah. So yeah, um, Toxic Behemoth, David Bernstein. That is the book that I got today. So yeah, and um, I'm going to probably record another video here 
So, uh, but the next clip you should see is probably gonna be the next book that I'm getting today in the mail. So stay tuned. Hey guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles. I am at a different location. Um, but I did bring the book that I got a few days ago with me. So yeah, I'm here to talk about what I got. So yeah. <laughs> so what I got in the mail was by is a book by Thomas Ligotti. And I think it's a collection of short stories. I'm pretty sure it is a collection of short stories. Um, you have a bunch of stories here, but um, the main one is, uh, I'm gonna butcher this name. So if you wanna correct me in the descript or the comments section, go ahead and do it. But Teatro uh, Grotesco, I could be wrong, but um, yeah, Thomas Ligotti is a author I've been wanting to check out ever since people have been raving about his work. And there's even a thing right here that says, an accomplished conjurer of nightmares in the tradition of H.P. Lovecraft. So yeah, that sounds really cool. And um, yeah, so um, there's a little thing on the back, but since this is a short story collection, I don't really need to read it. Um, but it has stories such as Purity, The Town Manager, Slideshow and Other Stories, um, The Clown Puppet, The Red Tower. Then he has My Case of Retributive Action, our temporary supervisor in a foreign town in a foreign land. Then he has Teatro Grotesco, uh, Gas Station Carnivals, The Bungalow House, Ser Severini, Severini, and The Shadow, The Darkness. And uh, I'm gonna let, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of good ones here, I think. I think I'm really gonna like this. Um, the first story is pretty long, but, um, oh, let's see here. I would say the longest would probably be either the Gas Station Carnivals or Teatro Grotesco. I don't really know, though. I could be totally wrong. But, um, yeah, this is um, Teatro Grotesco or whatever by Thomas Ligotti. I'm looking really forward to reading it one day. Um, I know the, there's a few stories in here that I must read. At least that's what I'm told. And, uh, yeah. So, and uh, this is... Um, what, what was the publisher here? I don't even know, but, um, I'm sure there's a publisher somewhere on here. Um, there's a, an about the author in the beginning of the book. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, FSC. Okay. Okay. But anyways, that is my book mail. Um, this is gonna be attached to the other video. So um, yeah, it's not a really big book mail video, but you know, I hope you guys enjoy it nevertheless. Um, I'm currently reading Narrow, uh, bleh, 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 Nathrotep and, uh, by William H. Nelson. And um, I'm having a really big uh, blast with this one. Um, this one's really good so far. I'm on page 74 and uh, there is about, I think, 181 pages. Let me check. Uh, 183 pages. My bad. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading more of that book soon. So, um, yeah. I also have The Buzzard Zone here uh, by Ronald Kelly, just in case um, I finish the book. Or it bores me or something and I just want to DNF it. But uh, I don't think I'm going to DNF it. Um, I think I'm really enjoying it so far. And I, I'm actually kind of curious what's going to happen. So... Yeah, it's awesome when books do that. But anyways, um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Um, I know I am. So have a good day. Have a spooky night. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.